I've got new shit this time though. New shit! <laughs> okay. Now the madness is finished. Um, has anybody seen Blade Runner? Yeah. Yes. yes. Um, this first poem is an homage to Ridley Scott's Blade Runner because I think it's one of the best science fiction films I've ever seen. Ooh. And it's called The Replicant Song. Okay. The Replicant Song, a homage to Ridley Scott's Blade Runner. The rain mingled with his own synthetic blood. A rain that whispered, whose drops reflected the fetid lights of the ravaged neighborhood. We sat on the edge of a dying world, looking out on a city that had forgotten hope. It was then that he, the replicant, spoke. I've seen things that you people, who were anchored to this forlorn rock, could never conceive. I crossed the great trench, where the only light is Rigel's faint glow a million light years away. Space so black, it would suck out your soul and chill your heart with a thousand year freeze. I've watched sunrise and sunset on planets with two suns, and that's something you never forget. I've sat in a hole, blaster in hand, while mile high ice geezers have showered me with frozen diamonds of rainbow hue. Shot past gas giants at light speed, so large they could swallow soul and its attendant planets with ease. I've seen lasers and eye beams split the dark with a brilliant light, knowing that some of my comrades were dying somewhere, losing the fight. I've seen the blazing blue rays of neutron stars, whose raging touch would turn man and machine into so much dust. And I've seen asteroid fields made of rust. All these things I've seen in my short lifespan, years I can count on one hand, given to me in fear, O oh great creator, O oh superior man. I'm neither machine or human, a skin job, as some would say. So a fleeting existence is the price I have to pay. No future, no past. Designed redundancy, not made to last. And yet, Blade Runner, I am more like you than you care to admit. Cut of the same cloth, for I have eternity in my soul. A soul you people say I do not possess. Just a crossing of wires and the random fluctuation of computer bits. And yet, great creator, we replicants are your children, children to whom you have given the same curse, the longing for that same eternity that all humankind afflicts. Such perverse gods you humans have come to be, to give me a moment in time, never to be free, and that moment is at an end. And all my memories, like the raindrops, will wash away. Lost forever, never to return. Just as yours will one day. He then laid his chin upon his chest with a sigh. And whispered, time to die. I sat for hours in the chilling rain. To this day, I don't know why. A strange sense of fellowship, because no one on their own should leave without someone to grieve. As that rain mixed both our bloods, is just as red as mine. I knew he'd given me a sign. A warning for the future, not of hope, but dread, that was clear. An ending for all humankind that slashed through my thoughts like a scything spear. A portent that filled me with terrible fear.
You're going to get three this time, three points, okay? Right, the next one, um, by the way, all these um, poems were all uh, written uh, from ideas uh, from the Rainbow Creative Writing Group. Yay! Uh, Yo! <laughs> so, um, we took a subject. Um, then we, we all write something about it, whether it's a short story or a, a little um, praise or a point. Okay, so this one is called Time is a Bitch. <laughs> <coughs> Time is a Bitch. Time is a robber in the bank of life. It takes and gives, but it always bites. It pretends to be slow, but it is always fast. Talks about forever, but never lasts. Promises heaven, but punishes with hell. Great love is offered by its beguiling smiles. Of course, all is well. Walk in its path, it whispers. Stay just a while. But in reality, you only get a few short miles. But to gain from time, from it you must buy all, but then sell everything to learn that time tells lies. And the sun and the moon will count your fall so that you can say on that one fateful day, my, doesn't time like a small sparrow fly? Time is the great leveler, whether you're poor or you are rich, and that is why time is such a bitch. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this last one. And this one is a, a boundary poem, okay. Um, it's based on, on uh, my cousin Elizabeth, who worked in a factory. Uh, and some of the other poems that I've written uh, have been the same in battle with Elizabeth. Owl is. And it's called, I wish I had a TARDIS. <laughs> oh! I wish I had something like a TARDIS. I could do with a time machine just be now. I need more time than the present time will allow. Cause I'm late. Missed me breakfast yet again. Trying to make sure I got to that eight o'clock train. Didn't even have a spare minute to make up me snap. Didn't even have a spare minute to me make up on me face to slap. And I know that I have bugger of a supervisor, rigging bottom, bike clocking machine, he will be. Smug grin on his face, me knuckles ready to wrap. Late again, Miss Belton, I see. He'll say from his iron mighty place. Never mind about punching me card, I think, and I swear under me breath, I'd like to punch him in his bloody stupid leering face. <laughs> But if I had a TARDIS, this would not be my fate. Cause if I had a TARDIS, I'd never be late. This week's work would have been done last week. I'd just fly. And I bet next week's work could have been done a month ago. Maybe it's May or July. I could have had, had a couple of days off at beginning at week on Sly and nobody including Higginbottom would ever have to know why. Never would I ever again be accused of being slow. I could take me time instead of all us being on go. I have two days a week on which to collect me pay. A no in factory would miss me. Point finger to say, it's your turn to make bloody tea today. I could have a thought neat at Whitby in a deck chair, my feet up, just me and the sea. If such a wondrous machine like the TARDIS I could buy, eight hours in the factory would just pass in the blink of an eye. A second hand one would do, as long as it did what it said on the box. And I won't be bothered. If paintwork was scratched and it didn't look new, as long as it smartly through time and space flew. Oh, I wish I had a TARDIS. My life would be complete and I could hop into my bed. All my problems truly solved of a neat. Thank you. Yeah.